Hey everyone, Mark Kwok here. Today I wanna to talk about some things that I've been experiencing. I just recently moved, and with that comes a lot of new experiences, new things I'm doing. And so I thought today I would recommend two things to watch that I've been recently watching. Two things that you should buy, or more so I recommend buying because I recently bought them. So let's get right into it. So two things I've been watching that I would highly recommend. The first is a television show that is on Apple TV. It's actually quite popular, so you've probably already heard of it, maybe even watched it, but I have just been blown away by the series. And this is Severance that's on Apple TV that stars Adam Scott. I would highly, highly recommend you look into this show. I'm gonna give away the premise here for a second just so you understand what the show is about, but imagine if you could sever a part of the brain that connects your work life and your personal home life. That way, when you basically go to work, you don't know or think about anything work-related. And then when you come home, I mean, you haven't even worked a day because you don't remember what you just did. So you keep those two things completely isolated. It's a brilliant show. I think it goes into a lot about the human psyche, kind of an existential show, if you will. Highly recommended. The acting is incredible. The, the cinematography is so unique. Highly, highly recommended. If you don't have Apple TV Plus, I think this is a good way to maybe just get that free trial or whatever. Watch it and then cancel it if you have to. Sorry, Apple, but highly recommended. The second thing I've been obsessed with is, uh, and, and this is something you may also know, but it's a guy named Kenji Lopez Alt. He is on YouTube and he's the author of a book called Food Lab. It's this nice fat book that's really hip and popular in San Francisco. But his channel is basically just cooking at home and he's so, so good at making you feel like you can be a pretty good cook. And over the past three or four months, I've become a pretty good cook and I gotta give some of the credit to him. Whatever you think of the guy, I don't know, some people he's a little bit polarizing for some people, but ultimately he makes it so easy to understand what flavors go with what, how to make something, it's whip it up really easy. It's all through a GoPro, so it just shows exactly how he cooks a meal. So you just choose a specific dish you like from his page and oh my God, the recipes have been so good. It, like I fool people into thinking that I'm a really good chef because I just follow what he does and it's quite easy. Severance, Kenji Lopez, these are the two things I've been watching, highly recommended. Let's move on to products because that's why you're all here, let's be real. The first product I would recommend is actually an offshoot of a video I already put up and that's around Birkenstocks. So I own the original Birkenstock that has kind of the leather upper and then the cork bottom. I've talked at length of this video about how I love this shoe and I used to think it was ugly and so on, but now I'm a fan, I'm a convert. I've become such a convert that I actually got the EVA version. This is basically just, I don't know, plastic or I, I forget what the actual material is, rubber slash plastic version of this. The original Birkenstocks are fantastic, but when you put them in water, uh, it's not the greatest combination. Whereas these, you can splash these around at the pool, at the gym, you know, when you're going out to like the showers and stuff like that, or the beach. This is awesome. I, they're much lighter. I actually end up maybe wearing these more than the other ones. The other ones are gonna be longer lasting. They're gonna be a little bit more luxurious. But if you like the design and you do enjoy Birkenstocks, I would highly recommend the EVA version. This one I got on sale. It's not cheap, but I think it's kind of worth it. So this next product, um, I'm not an expert in, and I may regret even putting this on here because I don't know enough about it to truly, truly recommend it to you. But the product is called Tretinoin. This is a basically a prescription version of a retinoid that goes on your skin and you put it on at night and it does a bunch of stuff. Look, let me explain. I have not the greatest skin in the world. I have had a bunch of acne in the past and you know, my face, it looks fine maybe at a distance, but the moment you get closer and closer, there are pores and you know, scars and all that crap on my face. It's no good. So as I'm aging and becoming a little bit older, I wanna take care of this guy. I, I wish my skin, I had taken care of it a little bit more in the past, but it's never too late to start. So I asked a dermatologist, what are the top three things I gotta put on my face? I'm a dude at the end of the day. I don't wanna put 20 things on my face. I don't wanna research a bazillion things. I wanna know the most basic stuff. What do I need to put bare minimum? They gave me an answer and I was very happy and glad that they just gave me an answer with just three, not like a million other things. The first thing, moisturizer. It makes sense. People put on moisturizer all the time. Even if you have oily skin, you should put on moisturizer. I've started to do that. The second thing, 
This is probably the most important thing is just SPF. So some sun protection because the sun is destroying your face every single time you go out, you gotta protect it, put on some SPF. And the third thing that they said was some sort of retinoid. Now, I didn't even know what this is or much less like care about it, but she did mention it as your third essential. So this is what that is. Retinoid is something that goes on your face and it effectively kind of like helps the peeling and kind of renewal of your face, turning over skin. And that's the best thing. The more skin you turn over, the newer that new skin is and it looks fresher, it looks cleaner, all this sort of stuff. But it also does a couple other things. One, it's supposed to help you with acne. So if you still have acne as an adult, this guy is supposed to help you. And the other thing is that apparently it's good for anti-aging. So it's all these different things that are positive for your skin. Now, this is a prescription version. You can go over the counter and get something that is, you know, a little bit less strong and it'll do the same thing. A quick warning about this sort of stuff is that the first week or two, you may see it get worse before it gets better. I actually had a bunch of acne that came in. I was like, what the hell am I putting on my face? I'm gonna throw this away and I'm gonna sue my dirt on skin. I wasn't gonna go so far, but I was pretty upset at first because I started getting all this acne and all this sort of stuff. But that's kind of the process. They call it purging. It kind of gets everything out and then you start the renewal process. Highly recommended because I have already seen and gotten comments about my face looking a little better over time. And so I do believe this is the bad boy that's doing it. All right, that's it for it. Two different things in each, you know, sector here. But thank you so much for watching. My name is Mark Kwok. I'll see you guys on the next one.